Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing L by John Renault in the color 8RH14, also known as Hot Cocoa. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. This is not about me. It's about all of you and showing you as many colors as we possibly can. So this hot cocoa, it is 8RH14. And the RH in John Renault stands for it has 33% highlights. This is a medium brown. I'll get a bit closer so you can see it. Uh, this is a medium brown with 33% medium ash blonde highlights. So this color tends to be more, in my eyes, it tends to be more on the ashy side. There is no red here. There is, I, I don't really see any warmth. Uh, that is definitely an ash blonde running through there and not a golden blonde. But when we go outside, you'll be able to see it in the sunlight. L, it has a full monofilament top and it has a lace front. It is open wefted on sides and back. The measurements on L, we have 13 and a half inches in the back. We have a um, crown of 14 inches. The sides are 10 inches. The nape is six and a half and we only have three ounces weight here. It is a very, very light piece. I found that L runs a little bit bigger on me than some of my other John Renaults. I had to cinch it in to accommodate my 21.75 circumference, which I will show you when I show you the cap. Uh, it is very, very comfortable. We have minimal to no permatease here, maybe a little bit around the crown area, but it's very minimal. The Density, I would say it is a very realistic density. However, I am finding on this particular style that it does seem to have a bit of box hair. As you can see, there is a little curve right here. And if you look at the stock photos, it's it's more of a, of, of a bob uh, turned in. So what I would do with this, if I were to keep it, I would give it a cold bath and let it hang to dry. I would finger comb it and then I would use the hot tool, the hot tool airbrush at a low setting. And even though this is straight synthetic, I can use the hot tool on it. This is the one that I use. It is by Hot Tools. And I just got this on Amazon. The important thing with using a hot airbrush is that it doesn't have, make sure that it doesn't have any metal on it. The bristles on this one are silicone and the barrel is made out of a ceramic. It has a high and a low setting and on my straight synthetics, I just keep it on the low setting and make sure that when I use it, my wig is dried. Using that, that will take care of this little bit of box hair that's right here. And, I, and it seems to have like a little bump right here as well. The color is absolutely gorgeous. I am just not used to seeing myself anymore in brunettes. We have a really nice length here. So we could do a lot of different, we have a lot of different styling options. Part it anywhere you like, if you wanna part it in the center or you want to part it off to the right. If you want to cut in a fringe or a bang, that's a possibility. I feel 
the ear tabs fall pretty, uh, lower than some of my other wigs. Here is the ear tab right here. And here is my hairline. If I were going out, I would just match my, my hair uh, to the wig and then it would, it would just mix nicely. I just really don't like to do that when I'm recording because I feel that if I use the root powder, then you won't be able to see where it falls. The ear tabs, here it is. And here is my hairline. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see hot cocoa in the sunlight. everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.